Hey guys, yo, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the previous episode, we had a very uh, intense chase against the dude who, um, who initially actually did some bad stuff at Orton Village, as you remember him, and he kind of kidnapped Colin, but we actually got him back, so that's no problem. And today, we're going to be getting, uh, uh, well, <laughs> sorry for the brain fart. All the way up to um, Death Mountain so we can see what's wrong with the Gorons. And right now, as we have the Iron Boots, you actually want to equip them. And you want to get a little bit farther and the Gorons going to be like, Ah, oh, it's you again. Damn it. Uh, you will never pass. You're going to hope to match your brute force. Alright, but this time we have the cheating device, which is going to give us their trust. And we actually do this and it's going to be very easy for us to carry him. And off you go. See you later, dude. Alright, so with his uh, mean looking face, Link is going to be like, yeah, I just taught you a lesson, dude. Now, you, I, I actually recommend you have your boots set to B because you have, well, eh, you know, whatever is fine. Uh, you know, just have them ready. Don't take them out of your main inventory right away because as you can see, there are going to be a couple more Gorons falling uh, right over here. And you actually wanted to get rid of them as soon as possible because that is going to stand between us and the you know, plays that we actually uh, need to go to. And as you can see, there is another one over here. Now, this gets a little bit tedious, but it's not like the road is incredibly, incredibly long. I mean, it's not really, really difficult, but, you know, after a couple of them, it gets like, all right, I just want to get to my destination. Come on. And, um, yeah, it's not really too bad. <laughs> all right, now, let me see. I actually wanted to talk about something else. Uh... Oh, damn it! Alright, so as you can see, if you do not catch them, it is not going to be too bad. Because you only lose a quarter of heart, and that is not really going to be too bad. Alright, so as we make our way, uh, you will notice that there are going to be a couple of these dudes uh, shooting uh, fire arrows at us. Uh, and while it's not really uh, all too bad, I mean, as you can see, I only got hit by one of them. Uh, you actually want to run all the way. You could potentially attack them with your slingshot, but that is going to make things a little bit more tedious. Um, just like Wolf Link, you don't want to get into the streams of, you know, I, I mean, the the steam, whatever. Because then it's obviously going to, uh, like, knock you off. And it could potentially, potentially... Oh, by the way, this is very, very important. Check it out. All these rocks are going to be falling, but there is going to be... Uh, okay, no, never mind. Uh, this is going to uh, happen first. So these dudes are, uh, you know, are actually like, oh yeah, hop on my back. So they're going to do this, and this is obviously something that we're going to be needing for the, you know, for us to get where we need to go, which is actually that place where that Goron just entered. However, there is going to be something else happening over here if you... Uh, let me see, is it? Is it over here? I'm not really sure. Uh, is it? Well, I'm almost certain that it is right here, but, uh, oh, damn it, no, Mr. Goron, please don't... Okay, yeah, uh, that's it, that's it. So, check it out. There is going to be a huge, huge rock falling to this place. And to just remember, keep this in mind, this is going to be very important for later in the game. Whoa, this looks dangerous. Is this a traditional Death Mountain welcome? <laughs> Alright, so this is just to kind of remind you that this is going to be very important. And by the way, uh, this is what you need to do. Oh, damn it. Uh, so you want to do a shield attack to the Gorons, and, uh, uh, come on, alright, there we go. And while they are on this stance, you actually want to stand on top of them, and you want to aim towards a higher ledge, so this is what is going to happen. So you, uh, damn it. <laughs> uh, so they're going to launch you up into the air, which is, uh, going to give you, you know, a nice boost, so we can actually climb all the way up, uh, which is exactly where we need to go to talk to a, well, someone very important. Alright, now let me see, I just need uh, this, oh, uh, okay, nice. So, um, you want to wait for the Gorons to, you know, start the, uh, their, you know, their attack, or, you know, after they attack, and you actually need, uh, need to do a shield attack that we just used. Um, it, for me, it's actually not extremely important, but, uh, it is obviously, um, you know, very, very, uh, important for this part, since th this is how you're going to be deflecting the Goron, uh, attacks, which is going to put them in the stands. If you saw, I actually used my sword, and that didn't actually help, you know, it's as if you were obviously punching a rock. Um, so, sword attacks are really not going to help. 
Uh, you actually need to do this all the way with all of the Gorons. It's really not going to be difficult. Um, now, if you get here into the hot spring, um, the Gorons here are not going to be, you know, harmful at all. You can actually talk to these dudes, and they're going to be very, uh, very chill. Sitting in a hot spring warms up your body and soul, and gradually fills up your energy, brother. Even Gorons need to cleanse their spirits once in a while. And that's, uh, you know, just pretty much it. Uh, also to, uh, to notice, there is also a shop where you can uh, buy arrows, but we don't have a bow at this point. I think this is uh, lantern oil, uh, another wooden shield, and this is a uh, hard potion. Just, uh, you know, to kind of, well, tell you what it is, because I'm really not going to talk to the Goron. Uh, but let me see, once we are done with this, we need to climb uh, this place over here, and, uh, well, just kind of showing you the uh, kind of attractions that we need to, well, that we can find in this place. Alright, uh, we don't have a lot more to go, actually, uh, when we get past this place right here, there is going to be another Goron, which is going to be, uh, uh, like, in its, uh, uh, fighting stance, but it is very easy. So just wait for them to, uh, punch you, and then wait, uh, when they, uh, have their guard down, just go ahead and do that, it is very, very easy. Now, I believe if you have the, uh, the Iron Boots, uh, e equipped, uh, there we go, alright. So, this obviously takes a little bit more time, but, um, if... You see that the steam thingy is uh, taking a lot to uh, to be done. You can actually... Oh, there we go. There's another one. Uh, you can actually equip your um, your boots. And uh, that is going to uh, allow you to get uh, past, you know, very, very easy. So there's another one right over here. Let's just go ahead and teach them a lesson. And it never really happened to me that you actually have uh, two of them, you know, just popping up in a row. But I guess that's not very, you know, very bad. <laughs> Alright, so we are almost at the top, there is nothing um, left, well, yeah, there's only uh, this dude left, uh, as well as one more, uh, so let me see, just do another shield attack, let's just hop in, uh, onto his back, and uh, go, alright, nice, as you can see, there was a, um, a purple, oh, and I haven't actually equipped my, my Helian shield, uh, that's pretty dumb of my part. Uh, so let me see, let's just go ahead and do this right over here, climbing this back once again, and we are already to the point that we, uh, that we need to, uh, to go. Before doing so, however, I'm actually going to equip my shield, which I actually forgot, um, you know, I'm, I'm really, really sorry about that. Now, at this point, you actually want to start collecting as many rupees as you can, because there is going to be something else coming up later, uh, which does require a lot of rupees before, um, you know, we get into another, uh, part of the game. Now, as you can see, there are uh, these Gorons are going to start charging up their rolling stuff, and someone is going to say, ENOUGH! And it looks like it is the Goron Chief. Is this young one such an imposing enemy that you must all gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. Well, that's a nice change. I am Goron Elder, little human. I am called Gor... Koron, alright, I guess. Because of certain circumstances, I must lead the Goron tribe in place of Darbus, our tribal patri uh, pa pa patriarch, I think it's called. Tell me, little human, do you come from the village below? Do you have done well to uh, you have done well to come this far? You are strong for a human. However, the mines beyond here are sacred to my tribe. Outsiders are not allowed. Unless. Hmm. I could make an exception, but you would have to beat me in a contest of power. Are you willing to try that, little human? Let's do this. Now, it was actually my bad. Uh, you cannot equip items during this battle. Um, so, if you do not have your uh, iron boots equipped or, uh, when you come right here, or I'm not sure if you... Uh, unequip them uh, automatically when you enter this place so you're gonna see that I don't have them and I cannot equip the items during this battle so he's just going to knock us right away and I think it's you know kind of funny to see um, you know just the ease in which he actually does it uh, I mean it's obviously not too cool because Link is going to be uh, can I can I equip them please tell me I can equip them no I can't all right so he j just one slap to the chest and he's going to knock us right out of the arena your body is skinny brother and you are, and, and so you are too light. You do not stand a chance. Try again later, brother. All right. So this time we're going to be using our little, uh, little cheating device, which is going to help us win the battle. Now, okay. So what is it? You want to try again? Uh, challenge. All right. 
Now, as I said, when I was uh, fighting Bo, this can take a little bit of time. And I'm only going to show one battle. I think you need to defeat him uh, twice as well. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is what they do, and it is very, very cheap. I don't actually like this, and... Oh, nice, nice. Okay, I did it. So only, uh, hopefully only one more, and that will do... Oh, damn it. Alright, so I'm only going to be showing one battle, and then I'm going to cut to my successful attempt. This is very tedious. And I'm going to cut to my successful attempt. Um, Jesus. Um, this obviously takes a while, and as you can see, if you press... A okay, that was, I guess, alright. Uh, but I guess at this point it would be kind of easier. It is impossible to avoid this fucking thing. Alright, I will see you guys on my successful attempt, which hopefully it's not gonna take too long, and I will be right back. Hey, young warrior, you have strong will and sharp eyes. Fine. Uh, fine traits. Want to see how well you can use them? Alright, so I guess it's only one. You have seen it, I would bet. The mountain erupting without pause. When the mountain began to rage, all four of us elders and Darbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. We have a treasure that is, was entrusted to us by the spirits, and we must protect it. Do you understand? By the moment Darbus reached out and touched the treasure, everything went wrong. He collapsed, and before our very eyes he transformed into an unspeakable monster. He began to rage through the mines, trailing ruin behind him, and the eruptions grew more frequent and more severe. We used all of our strength to seal him deep inside the mountain. It grieved us to, to do this uh, to our patriarch, but we had no other course of action. I ask this favor to you, young warrior. Go to the aid of Darbus. Make no mistake, the spirits have guided you here. I, Gorikoron, need your help. On behalf of my entire clan, I ask you for your aid. Hey. You too. Let the young warrior pass. We'll just unequip our iron boots. Um, hopefully he's not gonna have anything to say because we actually cheated. <laughs> and welcome to the second temple of the game. The Goron Mines. Alright, this place is very, very straightforward. In my personal opinion, it is a lot easier than, uh, than the Forest Temple, because num uh, for once, there are no very, very complex uh, puzzles that you actually uh, need to put a lot of thought into, which, uh, you know, is obviously not too great, because, you know, you obviously uh, have um, good puzzles in, you know, Zelda games and, sh and stuff. But there are a few of them in here that uh, do not really require a lot of thought, which, um, you know, it, it, it's alright because, you know, this is not going to go, uh, you know, for too long. Maybe this is going to take uh, a couple of episodes because, well, maybe, I mean, maybe up to four. It is very easy, but it takes a little bit longer to complete. Uh, this does not mean that it, uh, it is going to take around five episodes to complete. It is, um, you know, just a small thought uh, that this is actually easier, but a little lengthier. Now, there is, I think, a chest uh, down here. I'm not really sure, but I'm just going to do things, uh, you know, as they go. No, I think... Oh, oh, I almost fell. I almost fell. Okay, never mind. The treasure chest is right over here. Now, these new enemies, uh, obviously, I have no, I have no idea how to call them. But, like I said, before entering the temple, you actually want to start collecting as many rupees as you can. Because once we get out, uh, there is obviously going to be another um, a twilight area, which we're going to need to tackle and uh, rescue the, uh, you know, the tears of light, whatever. And, uh, when the light is actually recovered, we need a lot of rupees for something that is uh, going to be available once we... Uh, clear the twilight, and uh, I'm not really gonna talk anymore about this because I feel like it would be kind of, uh, you know, spoiling something. Um, even though I'm only talking about the things that we need to rupees for, but it is not gonna be that bad. Now, because of this a little thing, I actually need to go all the way back because I don't think we're gonna have enough time for the switch, but that's just pretty much it. Alright, now, I believe I'm actually going to be entering just uh, another... 
you know, just uh, another one, uh, one more room, because uh, while this isn't, you know, as long, it can actually... You know, I just, uh, <laughs> I don't really want to drag this video on for too long. Alright, so once we are here, uh, this is very, very easy. Uh, we just need to stand on this platform, uh, just equip the iron boots. This is going to fall, and the door is going to open. Uh, now, we're, we are about to come in contact with uh, the elders, as uh, Guru Koron said. And this marks the return of one of the voices for my characters. If you guys haven't watched it, I... I think I have not done this since uh, the Road to Mario and Luigi Dream Team, but uh, we're gonna uh, uh, go visit some of the el uh, some of the Elder Gorons, and I'm gonna have a voice that hasn't really been uh, you know that hasn't really been seen uh, in a couple of um, you know series, I guess. Um, all right. It's been 16 minutes, and the dungeon is actually very good, and I think we can actually cre uh, clear it in three parts, including uh, beating the, f uh, the boss of this temple, which uh, is going to be really good, so we can actually do stuff after that. So, right here, before entering that mayor area, I'm just going to say that if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a comment, uh, just let me know if you liked the episode. Uh, if you liked it, uh, you know, just make sure to tell me why. If you don't like it, uh, tell me how I can improve. So that's pretty much it, you guys have a great day, take care of yourself, and until the next episode, when we go a lot further into the Goron Mines, meet the Elders, and hopefully see what's wrong with the Patriarch. I will see you then.